An airplane flying straight and level has the force of lift holding it up and weight pulling it down. With these two forces equal and opposite in direction, the airplane continues along in straight and level flight. What happens when the airplane is banked? While the weight still acts straight downwards, the lift, which acts perpendicular to the wings, now points somewhat to the side. It no longer acts straight up, but is pointing both up and to the side. We can think of the lift as having a vertical component and a horizontal component. It's this horizontal component, the portion of lift that acts to the side, which causes the airplane to turn. The greater the bank angle, the more lift is pointing to the side, and the faster the airplane turns. Since less than the total lift is now acting upward to oppose weight, some elevator back pressure is necessary to increase the angle of attack and the total amount of lift produced, otherwise you'll lose altitude in the turn. When you make a sharp turn while driving a car, you can feel yourself pressed to the outside of the turn. This is called centrifugal force, and it happens when an airplane turns also. In a coordinated turn, it is equal and opposite to the horizontal component of lift, but you won't feel yourself pushed sideways in a coordinated turn in an airplane. This is because the airplane is banked, so you're not sitting flat. The centrifugal force and your weight combined act straight downward through your seat, directly opposite lift. This is why you can put a glass of water on top of your instrument panel, and if you can keep your turn coordinated and don't hit turbulence, it won't spill. This sum of the centrifugal force and weight is referred to as load factor, also called g-force. The steeper the bank, the greater the horizontal component of lift, so the faster the turn, and the more centrifugal force, and thus load factor. The steeper the bank, the greater the load factor. In a 60 degree bank, the centrifugal force is large enough that the load factor is now twice the weight of the airplane. This airplane can be said to be experiencing a g-force of 2 g's.